All you gotta do is take it from 100 to zero. Take it all the way down. And you know how we always do on this show, we give you every G's that's been happening in and outside the country from Monday up to Friday. We give you the most important ones anyway, the ones that we know that will really help you, you know, so that's what we do on this show. So I am your host, Nkiruka Ibe, and you are welcome to Talking Trends. We'll be right back. Well, I'm going to be starting with this story about the um, they said a bill proposing a five-year jail term for unlawful protesters in the country has killed through first reading at the House of Representatives. So let me go to the comment sections and read what people have to say about this. Uh, someone says they are making serious attempts to silence the voice of this generation. You all lie. Okay, that's a person's opinion. Another person says, who is an unlawful protester? As usual. If you ask me, now who I go at? This one says, a democracy in the mud. Another one says, how about jailing corrupt officials? Yeah, well, everybody has have their own opinions, but the government has told you that they're going to start prosecuting those people, especially those hoodlums. You know, there was a time we started calling some people hoodlums, you know, they hijacked protests and all that. I think those are the people that they are talking about, actually. Okay, so another story I have here is quite a funny story. I don't know if it's comedy or real life story, but it's in the news. This one says, members of Katina State People's Democratic Party social media organization have commended commenced rather sharpening their skills in the use of locally made catapults. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me take that story again. It says members of Katina State People's Democratic Party social media organization have commenced sharpening their tools in the use of locally made catapults for self-defense against armed bandits. Let's say carry gun, come, carry catapult. Hey, come. <laughs> but let's not even forget, you know, David used catapult back in the days to kill Goliath. Eh, hey now. So, if government does not give you gun, you provide uh, arms and ammunition by yourself. Everything that you use to piece of body is arms and ammunition. Mm -hmm. So, they said um, tag operation catapult, catapult shoots. The youth claim that. They embarked on the exercise in response to Governor Amin Obello's uh, Masari's directive to people of the state to defend themselves against bandits' attacks. I mean, it's about time. If it's catapult, you want to use, use it. If it's rubber band and paper, use it. For sharp protective self. So I'm out, so I'm out, eh, You know how they go now. So let me take some of the comments. Ah. <laughs> The comments are quite funny. Someone says, uh, this country is sponsored by Abeg. <laughs> and then I say, this is the type of foolishness that happens in the north every time. Really? Okay, another one says, this must be comedy. I think it's comedy, but it's actually not comedy. The governor said they should protect themselves, and that's the only means, that's the only thing they can buy to protect themselves against armed bandits that have AK-47s and AK-45s, you know. So, uh, you can read about that story for yourself as well. I'm going to be taking another story here. So we know that in recent times, I mean, food commodities, prices have increased in the market. I'm going to read something. They say prices of food items have skyrocketed by as much as 30% in many parts of Nigeria in the last one year. This increase is largely caused by border closure, COVID-19, con containment measures and insecurity checks. It, it didn't just start in 2021, it has been brewing in the corner. It's just that a lot of us didn't feel it up until this very moment. And then someone in the United Kingdom sent us a picture of, um, they said they're now cutting yams to sell in the UK. I mean, they cut it uh, probably like two or three and then sell it to you to buy. Depends on what your money can buy. And then uh, people are now coming out to say that uh, the comments now someone says fat lie that's how they show it good yam if you don't cut it like this it, I won't buy it so some people are against that saying it's not true the reason why the yams are cut like that there's a, a, actually a picture about the you know the way the yams are being cut and sold so some people are saying yes because it's expensive now so they now have to cut it so that everybody gets yam I don't even know what is so special about yam so that's why I said on this show today and that's the reason why we're doing it in the black office kitchen because we're going to be having a chef on the show who's going to talk to us about you know these things food commodities is have increased obviously in the market today if you have 500 naira 
or let me know even five what five hundred naira can't even buy anything in the market anymore. If you have as much as five thousand naira, you can pick, you can count the number of things you go home with. At the end of the day, it's not even enough. So we brought a chef in the house today, and she's going to be telling us, you know, a little bit about this, how they have been coping, especially those of them. This is their business. How have they been coping since last year to this very moment? So we'll go on a short break, and when we return, we'll be introducing the guests we we'll have in the house today. Do stay tuned. Hey, and our guest is here. She's setting in the house, and she comes bearing food. This is the fast I love. Oh my word! <laughs> yeah. Oh my word! This is like a food tray, right? Yeah. Wow! Woo! You're welcome Thank you. to Talking Trends. I mean, that's, that's, that's everything. How's it going? Fine, fine, fine. Thank God. Yeah. Everything is good, thanks. Please, what did you bring? I, I, I think I need to unveil this. What, let, let's know what you brought for us. Okay. <laughs> this is um, native rice. Okay. So, uh, Samoy rice. The Calabrian rice. Mmm, Calabrian rice. Yeah, mm. then this is semi. This is banga soup. This is afang. And this is pepper. Hey! Food! I love food! So let's even talk about, I mean, let's in Nigeria now, yeah. right? The cost of food items, food commodities has risen in the market, right? From, I, I think from last year, due to the COVID-19 pandemic and everything, everything skyrocketed. I mean, to get something in the market now is quite expensive. Yeah. How has this been for you? Given that you have, you sell, I mean, you make food and sell on Instagram. Yeah. So how has it been so far for you? Well, it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. You know, going to the market, trying to buy things. Like most times, I'll just be like, I took this particular amount of money. I can't even get up to five items. I'm telling you the truth. Mm. Like last week, I took ten thousand to the market. I wanted to get um, turkey, beef, and chicken. I was able to just get them um, one one kilo each. One one kilo each. Tell you, the beef I bought five thousand naira. It was up to ten pieces. Ah uh ah. -uh. I'm serious. I think it has been a long time I went to the market. I think uh, literally I even stopped going because when there was a time I saw a video, you know, they were cutting yam and selling. So I didn't know what that was about. And then I've heard people also say to buy a tuba of yam now, it's about, you can't even get tuba of yam for 1,000 naira. And can't even pray. Yes, and someone said something. They said, you know, normally when you get to the market, when you get to the market, yeah. there's this haggling of price. Yeah. Uh, Madam, would you sell it for 50 naira? Yeah. And she said no. And when you want to walk out, they'll not call you. Oh, they said people are like, they're not calling you back anymore oh. these days. <laughs> so tell us, what did it cost to make this? I mean, it must have cost quite a lot for you to have made native rice, um, turkey, pepper, turkey, afang, banga. banga soup, and sebo. I mean, how much did this whole thing cost? First made it first cake. Wow. And in this little, little portions. Yeah. That's serious. Wow. So what do you think should be done in all of this? I mean, what should the government do? Because there's a, something has to be done. This is food. People have to eat food, you know, to stay alive at least. Yeah. I don't know, but the government just needs to come in because it's really alarming. It's really alarming. Not even by us, the poor people. Mm -hmm. Most times, to even afford three square meals now, I'm sure it's a problem. It's not easy, like they really need to come in and really need to sit down and talk about this thing and really help us because it's not it's not fair actually, it's not fair. And, and, and talking about food, well last week, um last weekend, Sunday was actually the birthday of um the GC of Oxford International Group, Dr. Kule and De Sonia Daniels. I mean, Sunday was his birthday and he gathered people together. So let's just show you a little bit about the clip while we unveil our food. We'll be right back. to be the birthday of Dr. Kule Adesonya, the GCOO of Oxford International Group. Everybody has turned up to come and wish him well to come and celebrate with him because he is an awesome leader in Oxford International Group.
Uh, for this new year, uh, I want to explore in a good way. You know, one of my hobbies is I like traveling. In this next one year, I want to travel all over the world. And I know God will take me there. Who brought us food today? So can you tell us like okay, with a little bit about how what went down making this afang soup? Okay, um, as we all know, afang soup contains a uh, okadu, mm -hmm. wasali, pamoy, mm -hmm. some that's very good. Yeah. Then pomo and dried fish. That to spice it up, not like it's no, necessary. It is it necessary? Mm, it's necessary to, to put pomo inside. No, 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 no. Pomo okay. is not necessary. Okay. Pomo is not necessary. Mm. For me, I use pomo to spice it up, to make it look. Mm -hmm. Because this is actually a very rich afang. Yeah. Well, some people, a, a woman that is living somewhere in a cotton will not have this whole thing. So, what does she need to make something like this? But her family wants to eat afang soup. Okay. Um, so that she can make an afang soup that they can eat and enjoy. Okay. With, you know, without so much, spending so much. Just normal um, palm oil. The um, afan is that occasionally, mm -hmm. then water leaf, then isam is not necessary. No. Okay. But it's, isam is always necessary in afan, especially afan. I so mean, that's one of the yeah, ingredients. Yeah, one of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So it's compulsory. There's dried fish. It's not compulsory, she's dried fish. If she has crayfish, she's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. But to give it that local taste, that homemade taste, that sweet taste, it's good to put. Mm -hmm. Trying to cut cost. Yeah, yeah. trying to cut cost. This is a whole lot. So the palm oil now, let's say, normally me, I don't think I've ever bought palm oil in the market before. Really? Never ever. Because my mom makes palm oil. And so all she does is just sends me down to Lagos. I don't even know how much it costs in the market. How much does a bottle of I know they sell it in um bottles. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So how much does a bottle of palm oil cost in the market currently? How much did it cost before? Okay, currently mm -hmm. 600 naira for a bottle. Before we're buying palm oil, 300. 257, you can buy a bottle of palm oil. Are you serious? And that was just, well, just last year. Because the last year, I still remember, I bought palm oil for 400 naira mm. a bottle. I bought palm oil this year, 600 naira. 600? It has even come down. It was 700 before. It's coming down, going back, coming down. Like. The prices are just... Well, and one thing with Nigeria is, if anything goes up, don't come down it again. never <laughs> comes down. They're selling pure water. Pure water used to be, I think pure water used to be from 5, five naira, naira to 10, ten naira. naira. And now I think it's selling for 20 naira in naira. some places. So places they sell it 10 naira, some places they sell it um, 20 naira. That's one thing with us in Nigeria. Like, when these prices go up, they never come down. So what do you think about price regulations? I almost I want to even give up, but I can't because this is something I love doing. Yeah. I love being in the kitchen. Like I don't mind. I can be in the kitchen from morning to night. I don't get tired. Mm. Like I just love it. So most times I'll be like, ah, please, can you continue with this? If I tell a customer that ah, this is a particular price in which I'm charging for this, complain that it's too much, it's too much. I'll be like, you know how much things are in the market. Mm -hmm. The prices is not even stable. Me giving yeah. a particular price, and I'll go to the market to get the item. And I may even be, be the one adding my money to it. Mm -hmm. But I won't tell you because I'm moving my business. I'm trying to promote my business. Well, see, I don't know, but this the price is too much. Like I just pray everything comes back to normal and the price is too Oh, much. I, I don't think anything ever comes back to normal. Even Especially though, in Nigeria. I think this should be It's it. the yam one that is as in bad thing. Because I love to eat yam. And then when someone now told me that they went to the market and bought one tube of yam like this. That for 1,500 naira, I'm like, ah, I give up. I, I really gave up on, I said, I'm not easy yam again until further notice. And the point is, these things will not come down at any point, as in looking at it from this perspective now, as it's going. Because, and then again, sometimes I wonder, why does um, this things go up? Food commodities, they should be basic, because we produce a whole lot of these things in Nigeria. Yeah. And then you go to the market. The woman that went into her backyard to go and okay. pluck her spinach leaf will not come and tell you what thousand right. You yeah. ask her, Mama, ah, uh -uh. she not say her dollar has risen. Yes. I'm that wondering, like, so what so did so what has dollar got to do with the, the price of ugu? <laughs> they always say dollar, dollar, dollar. Mm -hmm. 
So buy, why should do you use did you buy anything in dollars? No. <laughs> <I'm Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this, 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 I mean, I think the government needs to listen to the masses because food is basic. If you don't give people food, they said an angry, a hungry man is an angry man. So if you don't give somebody food, very soon all of us now enter street You People are saying you want to start a uh, business, people that are protest unlawfully. All of us go enter street and we're by the time we are protesting, prison no going to contain all of us <laughs> at all. So today, I hope you've had fun, I've had fun. I mean, food, you can never go wrong with food. You bring food any time of the day, I'm ready. I, I can talk for Africa when it comes to food. So we're about to round up that, but before we go, let's, I mean, Chef Stacey, tell us, what's your advice to, because there's so many people doing this business you're doing. There's competition in this business. And then again, there's still some other people who enjoy cooking and they want people to taste and try out what they're cooking. What's your advice? What do you have to say to these people? Yeah, they shouldn't give up. Mm -hmm. If it's their dream, they should keep on chasing it. I love cooking, like I said, so mm. it's my dream. It's what I want and I'm pursuing it. So I don't care whatever money, everything. No, it's affecting me. I won't like to. It's affecting me, but I'm not going to let that affect me. I'm not going to let it weigh me down. I just, I'll just, okay, I work on my budget. This is what I want. This is the particular amount I'm spending and I won't go more than that. So that's just it. Don't give up on your dreams. That is what I can say. Yes, thank you so much for coming on the show today. So go and follow her Instagram handle at Stasis Kitchen. Delicacy. She makes very lovely food. Trust me. I have tasted this now and I can attest to that. They are very, very delicious. And again, before we round off, look at me, looking very elegant. I was dressed by ImageQ Oxford, the one and only lifestyle brand, fashion brand in Lagos. I mean, they clothe you from head to toe. They're good. So this came from them. This is a jumpsuit. You're gonna see a video of this. This is a jumpsuit and the clothes I made today. So thank you, ImageQ Oxford, for this amazing outfit I'm putting on. And thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Just subscribe. I'm begging, subscribe. So until you come your way again next week, I am Kiruka eBay, and don't forget to also follow me on Instagram at Kiruka underscore eBay. And I'll promise you, I'll follow you back. So thank you for watching. Just to the weekend. After the show, it's the after party, yeah. After the party, it's the hotel lobby, yeah. After the Belvy, then it's probably Chris. And after the original, it's probably this. Yes. Wow. Oh, shit, you here, yo. Contract. Ah ah. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, one, two. <laughs> 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 <laughs>